excited. Back in the garage, we got some major upgrades to do to the RM250. I'm like really, really excited for this video. I've been wanting, this is like the best part of the whole build is when you get it almost done and we get to put the fun parts on it. So let's go over everything on the table. Fast way pegs, these things are huge. They're super comfy. This makes you so much more comfortable when you're riding. Polysport restyle plastic kit so we can make this bike look new and fresh. And the seat on that thing is for short guys and, it, and we had to get a Guts Factory grip seat foam and seat cover so all the short guys can touch the ground so we don't have that problem. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Rocky Mountain. I'll leave a link in the description. Primary drive, um, aluminum rear sprocket, spoke wrench. This is a Tusk shock reservoir cap removal tool so when we rebuild the rear shock we're gonna need that. We have a gold chain from primary drive. This is actually really well priced. A rod holder uh, when you rebuild your forks. Fork cap wrench but we don't need it for this Suzuki bike but if we build another bike I just wanted to have it. Front brake lever. Seal driver for the fork. The front sprocket. Race tech. Seal head set tool for the rear shock when you rebuild it. Favorite grips ever. They have these clampons now. Pillow top pro tapers. I swear by the pillow top. New bar pad is Bolts, engine fastener kit for the motor we got, bodywork fasteners for the plastics, we've got the rotor bolts for the rear, hub saver double lock sprocket fastening kit, which will be perfect for this new sprocket. Super pumped on these, I'll have a link to bolt stuff, they are awesome for supporting the channel, and everything's so organized, everything's brand new, they have nice packaging, simple, yet effective. We have a new paddle tire as well, it's just a basic eight paddle flames or whatever on here. I prefer the ones that are bare in between, but I'm gonna show you the other kind of paddle that my buddy Dylan likes. Ribs in between. Those make it better when you turn. You're in the sand, it's obviously super loose, so it helps keep things in track when you're going around corners. Take this air box off and Cerakote it. scraping as much dirt and grime out of here as I can. It's pretty difficult. In some of these corners, I'm using a flathead screwdriver to like scrape all the other pieces off. So let's see how clean we can get this and then spray it out. Cerakote, a ceramic like semi-permanent plastic restorer and you get this package I'll have a link in the description but it comes with gloves and everything in it and then it has individual wipes really good product is link in the description they have a couple different options like gloss matte semi gloss etc <laughs>
what a nightmare to get this stupid stripped nut and bolt sprocket off. farther I've decided that now that I have my clutch working and I have the chain and front sprocket on I'm waiting for the sir clip to come from uh, overnight shipping from uh, FedEx from Rocky Mountain to keep this on I know I can cruise it around I'm gonna run this bike up and down the street to make sure the transmission feels good everything's good before I put it all back together so I'm gonna throw on the GoPro which actually I got the Dango uh, design gripper mount that goes on the front of your helmet so we're gonna throw this GoPro on and show you how this works but this is like the sickest moto videos I've been watching have this mount so uh, I'm excited to try it out <laughs> Exciting part, we're gonna be changing out the plastics and to hold those plastics on, I have the body fasteners kit from Bolt. I'll link in the description. And then the plastics are from Polysport. I already opened this bag up a little bit, but we have the front fender right here. Make this bike look completely different. She's looking good. I'm so pumped to put the seat on next, but dang, what a come up. Seat foam, nice. Yellow stripes on the super goofy seat. We got the guts on the side and here. Let's slide this on. is looking sick I am so excited I have a rideable dirt bike again this is such the roots of my need for speed and just what makes me enjoy motorsports and getting into all these cars over here making this channel is what it is so if you hear that you like cars I appreciate you watching if you're here because bikes we're just getting started it's gonna be fun um, I have a piece from FedEx coming tomorrow it's a sir sir clip it holds the front sprocket on, and then I'm gonna go and install these in Yuma. Um, but I'm gonna go ride it for the first day without it, and then install it later probably. So, these are the Fastway pegs that we're working with. Taking these with me because it's late, and I wanna leave tomorrow to go ride, so. See you on the road. Oh,